grade one students and welcome back. I hope that you're ready for our next lesson. Today is Tuesday, the 1st June 2021 and this is grade one maths. The number of the week is five and this is the figure five, numeral five, the number five, the digit five, all right? All those words could be used to describe this number right here and this is how we write it in words. F-I-V-E-5, five. that's how we spell it. And let's refresh your memory of how do we write the number five. How do we write the number five? Go down, around, and a flag up high. That's the way nice. to make it. Now let's continue. So here I have a very special shape has a special number of sides. Let's count the sides and see how many it has, all right? It has one, two, three, four, five. It has five sides. Have you ever seen a shape like this before? Okay, all right. And what do we call a shape with five sides? Do you know? It is called a pentagon say pentagon a pentagon is a five-sided shape so if you ever see a shape like this you'll be like oh that's a pentagon i know the name of that shape all right and there's actually a building that is built just like that shape built built like a pentagon and it's actually called the pentagon so the name of this building is the pentagon and it does have one two three four five Sides, all right, and this is how it looks from in the air. If you're flying over the building, this is what you'll see. This building is located in the United States of America. So here you have it, the Pentagon. And now let's get on to some counting. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger. So which finger did it bite? This is a finger on my right. Okay, so our first number is five and one, which gives us six. And here I have six fighter jets flying in the sky. Let's spell the number. Six, okay, so it's spelled like S I X six. One more time, S I X six. How do we write the number? Six? How do we write the number six? Around the clock until it ticks. That's the way to make a six. Let's try it again. Around the clock until it ticks. That's the way to make a six. Let's see if you can say it this time. Nice job. And what number comes after six? After six, we'll have the number Seven, so we have five and two, or the reverse, two and five, giving us seven. And here I have seven hot air balloons. So yes, they fly in the sky. So here we have seven hot air balloons. Now let's spell the number seven. S-E-V-E-N, seven. One more time. S E V E N seven. That's the way you spell the number seven. Now, how do we write it? How do we write the number seven? Across the sky and slide the line. Makes a seven every time. Let's try that again. Across the sky and slide the line makes a seven every time. Let's see if you can say it this time. And 
what number comes after seven. Nice job. We are going to have the number eight. And we here we have eight dancing frogs. All right, now let's spell the number eight together. E I G H T. Eight. One more time. E I G H T. Eight. Now, how do we write the number eight? And after the number eight comes the number nine. And we have nine jets here. So we have six jets and now we have nine jets. Now let's spell the number nine. N-I-N-E, nine. One more time. N-I-N-E, nine. How do we write the number nine? How do we write the number nine? Little circle. Then a line. Makes a nine every time. Let's try it again. Little circle. Then a line. Makes a nine every time. Let's see if you can say it. And nice after job. After the number nine comes the big number, the number 10. We have the number 10. All our fingers are free now for the number 10. And let's see if we do have 10 balloons here. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's the number ten. Let's spell it. T E N ten. Easy piece of stuff. Let's go again. T E N ten. And how do we write the number ten? Think about it. We have ten is made up of a one and a zero. So that's all we have to do. We write one and we write the number zero. So one zero ten. All right. Now let's match the kites to their names. So the first kite here, we have they make an S, but do not wait, raise up back to make the eight. We have the number eight. Do you remember how to spell the number eight? It starts with an E, right? It starts with an E, so I'm gonna look here. Anything that begins with E, this one begins with E. Let me see, E, I, G H T. Yes, this one spells eight. So here we have eight. This one is matched to eight. This number is the number seven. Yes, this one is the number seven. Do you remember how to spell seven? S. Oh, it begins with an S. So which one of these begins with S? Down below here we have this one and this one. And after the S would come the E. So, S-E. This one has S-E. This one has S-I. So, it can't be this. So, let's see. S-E-V-E-N-7. Here we have the number 7. And this is the number 6. All right. So, how do we spell the number 6? Good job. So, this one begins with the letter S. So, let's see. S-I-X. Six. And finally, we have this one right here. What number is this? Nine. Let's, let's find the last one that's here. So let's go. N-I-N-E nine. Is this nine? Yes, it is. So we'll match this one for the number nine. 
Now it's your turn. You're going to fill in the missing letters for the number names. So we're going to do this first one together. A, we have the number five here and there are two missing letters. So we have F and E written in for us what two letters are missing. F, I, V, E, five. Right? So you see, I fill in the missing letters, which is I and V. And now I have the word five spelled out here. Now you're going to do this one, B, C, D, and E. And finally, F. All right? And that will be all for today's lesson. So bye-bye.